We also include nutrition as a key component of our work. As a part of this plan, we're investing more in research to fortify staple crops with vitamins and nutrients. And I was very pleased in conversations today with our colleagues from the EC when there was a, an acknowledgment and a confirmation of, of the EC's commitment to the research area, particularly on nutrition. Uh, because we recognize that it's not just that we provide additional food to people, we not, but what is, the, what is the food that we're providing? So nutrition must be a part of the, of the, of the food security program. Then Feed the Future will focus on developing the local, national, and regional capacity of countries to design and implement sustainable nutrition programs because it's not just what we do in Washington or Brussels, it's what work happens on the ground. Mm -hmm. Another game changer, as, as, as we like to see it, being when I'm asked what makes this one different, is the recognition of the role of women because women make up 60 to 80 percent of smallholder farmers around the world. Women and girls will receive the requisite attention and focus from the Feed the Future plan. Reducing gender inequality and supporting the contribution of women to agricultural productivity is critical to achieving global food security. There is consistent and compelling evidence that when the status of women is improved, agricultural productivity increases, poverty is reduced, and nutrition improves. We will integrate gender concerns into all of our investments and will help partner countries and implementing partners strengthen their capacity to consider and address the negative impacts of unequal access to and control over assets that women, uh, that will have women involved in all stages of the agricultural value chain, not just in the implementation, but also in the planning of the programs.